Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Biking Explorer. If you're new here, my name is Ken and this is my wife Andrea. And today we're gonna to be doing a review of the layout and amenities of Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. It's an amazing ship. And we wanna share with you our thoughts. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So Andrea, let's dive into the layout and amenities of the Navigator of the Seas. Now, I really love this size of ship. It's just under mm. 4,000 guest occupancy when it's full. And I find that this is big enough that it offers a lot of amenities and venues. There's lots to do, lots to see, mm -hmm. but it's easy to navigate. Some of the mega ships can be harder to find your way around or there's so much to see. Mm -hmm. This I find easy to get familiar with really quickly. It's not overwhel overwhelming how big the ship is, even though it is quite a large ship. Uh, it also has a special place in our heart because our first cruise was on the Mariner of the Seas, which was the sister ship to this one. So I was really excited to go on the Navigator just to bring back some of those fun memories. But you're right, more of an intimate experience, even though it is a large ship. It has a very classic cruising feel to it. Mm -hmm. But I think we should start up at Deck 14. And up on Deck 14 is where you find the Cosmopolitan Club, the Suite Lounge, as well as the specialty restaurant, Izumi's. Yes, and you'll also find access to the escape room up there as well. So if that's something you're going to take in, um, you would access that up there. So let's talk about the Cosmopolitan Club. Yeah, in that area, it's quite a great place for some views and it's comfortable up there. It is. There's lots <laughs> of couches and you can tell that the venue is set up so it's taking advantage of the view. You can mm -hmm. see the pool deck area. You can see the ocean. The chairs are set up so that you can sit along those beautiful windows and enjoy enjoy the views. There's a lot of people reading, a lot of people playing games. Yeah, it's definitely a relaxing area and we didn't go there till later in the week, um, but it, it was definitely beautiful if you want to i don't want to say a quiet place but more of a relaxing place it might be a great option for you it was lovely mm -hmm. um and then we'd already mentioned azumi's is up there and um the sweet lounge is up there so um cool place yeah the only wish that i had actually for the cosmopolitan club mm -hmm. is a small wish is when they do hold some of the different activities up there it would be nice to have a projection screen. Um, the venue is really created to take advantage of the views. Mm -hmm. And so when they do something that everyone's turned in watching, it's a little difficult to see. Yeah. So we went up there for the towel folding demonstration and there was definitely a struggle for everyone to see the towel folding demonstration. Mm -hmm. um, so that probably could have been held in a different venue, but it was definitely a nice place. There is actually a bar up there as well. I don't know if we mentioned that, but... Um, Awesome place to hang out. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, coming down from there, of course, is um, the pool area. Or actually, I shouldn't call it the pool area. The water slides, flow rider, um, so kind of a pool. <laughs> we'll get to the main pool area in a moment. It's but At the aft on deck 13. Yeah. So that's where the rock climbing wall is. Um, and then the outdoor sports court. Which is really cool because they hold mm -hmm. lots of different activities and fun things to do there. Yeah. Um, pickleball, dodgeball, <laughs> basketball, all that kind of stuff was Lots there. Lots of different things yeah. going on. Really nice big sports court and I, it's well used. It is. Yeah. And good uh, size. Um, bigger than definitely some of the ones we've seen on other ships. It's not like the Ovation where it's massive indoor. That's true. Um, but for an outdoor one, it was a really good size. The slides, now we didn't go on them this time. It just didn't work out. Um, I mean, we could have found time, but it just didn't happen for some reason. <laughs> um, they're really cool looking. They were. They look really fun and interesting. Mm -hmm. One of them's like a, a, you sit in a tube and go down and they're bright, colorful, big, um, really neat. It's a really cool space. Now, one of the things I really like too about the Flow Rider, which is right in the area, mm -hmm. is they had seating set up yeah. all the way around. and. It was actually a fun place to hang out and just to watch all those activities going on. Yeah, from the beginners to the advanced, it was really neat to watch. But do up your drawstrings on your uh, really tight really shorts. Tight. Really tight. There might have been a few <laughs> <laughs> needed areas that needed to be blurred out <laughs> on the flow rider. But uh, yeah, it was it's a cool area. The rock climbing wall there is amazing. It's big. 
um, a few different routes up there. It's really, really neat. And I, I think that's really cool that Royal Caribbean does put those on many of their ships. So, um, and complimentary, there's some like paid options you can do, but they're, mm -hmm. if you want to do the basic, it's complimentary, which is great. A lot of fun mm -hmm. stuff you can do. Yeah. And I don't, I mean, I don't have any wishes for the area. It's just phenomenal. No, I yeah. loved it. Yeah. Loved it. Um, jumping though to the front of the ship. To mini golf? Mini golf. Yes. yes. I think I had the, is it at the front of the ship? Yes, yes. it is. They call the Navigator Dunes. Yeah. This is one of the coolest mini golf courses I've seen at sea. Absolutely. It was cute and a lot of creativity put into it. Mm -hmm. They had like little shipwrecks, um, palm trees, there's rocks, kind of fake rivers. Is there's it like a, a little Volkswagen van kind of that you could take photos with? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it was Volkswagen. I'd have to double check yeah. on the photos, but um, you can stand kind of in them and take photos. It's kind of half a van for taking photos. Really neat area. It was really cute. It was and a fun course as well. Really fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really well planned out, well done. Mm -hmm. And um, not really any... No wishes. Uh, no wishes on that. It. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, from there? Should we go down? A sure. Deck? <laughs> so let's talk about the spa and the gym. Yes. We didn't take advantage of any of the spa services. We did take a quick tour of it. It was a fast tour. It was a very fast tour. It was smaller than I expected. Mm -hmm. um, they did offer a lot of services in there, but it wasn't... The biggest wasn't gym. wasn't huge. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Or the spa. And same with the gym. The gym mm -hmm. was standard size. It was nothing outstanding. They mm -hmm. had the basic equipment. Um, if you want to go work out, free weights, the machines, cardio, they mm -hmm. have it all there. Plus the classes if you want to sign up. Yeah. They classes. had like a little studio with the bikes and stuff if they if you're taking in mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, I don't... I mean, wish-wise, it, it could have been bigger. Yeah. Um, with a little bit more. I think this is more standard of kind of ships built in that kind of time frame that the size of them, because you're starting to see bigger and bigger gyms on the ships. With the and... big, beautiful views the whole mm -hmm. way. So this had, some had views, but it wasn't the most amazing, but it was definitely. I would call half of it wasn't, didn't have views and half kind of did. So, but uh, it's still a nice gym. If you need yeah. a, if you want to work out, you can yeah. head on in there. For sure. I'll also jump over to the Challengers Arcade. Yes. Um, so if you're into arcades, um, not a huge arcade. They had like the prize hub in there, um, air hockey, and a variety of different games. Not overwhelmingly big. No. So I mean, it's there. not really a wish for me. I don't really play arcade, but if, if you want to spend hours and hours, mm -hmm. it's you're probably done pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I really, really, really enjoyed the main pool area. Yeah. It was really nice. It was very nice. So they have the two large pools, mm -hmm. and then they've got a main, I believe it was one big hot tub, maybe two in that area. I think it's one. And then up above, there's two long hot tubs that are covered. Now, these hot tubs are amazing because often you find when they get the hot tubs too big, they end up being huge, and then there's a lot of space in the center. Mm -hmm. So what they've done with these hot tubs is they're kind of The ones oval. up top. Yeah, yeah. they're oval. And so they, they fit a lot of people into them. Mm -hmm. It was like yeah. very comfortable. The temperature was good and there was yeah. lots of space to get in. Well, and then they're covered and they overlook the pool area. So if you're wanting to watch, I don't know, the belly flop competition, um, you could do that right from the hot tub, yes. which was nice. Which is nice. And yeah. it's also nice to get that covering out of the sun too, especially when you're mm -hmm. in Mexico. Um, it's easy to lose track of time. <laughs> and between the two decks, I would say there was a fair amount of loungers. The ones down by the main pool area definitely got gobbled up first. Yes, yeah. But there was, I don't feel like we were ever looking for loungers. We always were able to find loungers. We could always find them one deck up and watch from up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which was so nice. It was nice. Um, the ice cream's in that area. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and then further, I believe towards the front of the ship, you'll find the adult solarium area, which had a pool... And two large hot tubs as well, round ones. Mm -hmm. um, so it's called the solarium. It's, it's not, not a solarium. solarium. It's open from above. So if you're thinking solarium like you might see on the Ovation of the Seas or Quantum of the Seas, um, it's not like that at all. It was actually open above. Um, an outdoor solarium. I don't know how it's called that. And it's pretty close to an elevator. So uh, some ships, the solarium adult only areas at the end of one of the of the ship mm -hmm. so this is still going to have uh, like children and families walking through so yeah. it's not exclusive adult 
only. So I, I would kind of, I, I'd call that maybe one of my wishes that there was more of an indoor pool area. Um, like it's called the solarium, but it's not a solarium. So it's air conditioned? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because while well, we were there in Mexico. So um, that would be kind of one of my wishes yeah. that that was actually closed in. But if you have bad weather, that can be really nice. Yeah. 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 We had gorgeous weather, so it was not a problem. Mm -hmm. um, any other thoughts on the pool? No, I like the pool area. It was yeah. very nice. Yeah. Um, so from there, they have a nice library and kind of card room. It's not huge, but it is there. And it's kind of above the promenade a couple of decks i can't remember which deck um which makes it kind of secluded it's kind of in amongst the cabins it's open too it's mm -hmm. not closed off so if there's live music going on in the promenade it's actually a nice place to sit mm -hmm. if you just want to take advantage of the music yeah no it, it was definitely um a nice yes. area for i'm sure. glad they still have it because some of the new ships are not putting in uh libraries mm -hmm. and sometimes i think Everybody, They're a nice place. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah everybody yeah. goes on cruises for different reasons and not everyone's there to party. Some people just love their book and mm -hmm. I think it's important to have that, I on, like a, that on a space. cruise ship. Yeah. Um, and also, and then going down, we'll kind of get towards the main promenade area. Yeah. Um, so we've got the Star Lounge at the front of the ship. A nice, a, not the main theater, but it's kind of like a theater where they can put on different things. Really nice area. It's somehow easy to miss too. Because mm -hmm. my eyes always went towards the food on deck five. <laughs> <laughs> I always saw the, the cafe promenade. Yeah. And headed that way and didn't look the other direction. So mm -hmm. it's easy to miss mm -hmm. that big space. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely um, quite large. And actually, if you sneak out the side doors, you can walk up to the front of the ship to the helicopter pad. So a lot of people don't know that. That was one of our favorite places that on was. the... And I'm going to give that a big thumbs up that you're allowed that out space. on the front of the ship. You can do your your Titanic impression out there, King of the World, and just enjoy that area. There's benches out there. Yeah. Really nice. And so you can access the, as you said, from the Star Lounge. Also, though, from Deck 4. Mm -hmm. But then you take stairs up the side. Yeah, to up get from up the, the kind of outside promenade area, you can go up there. So That's um, a very cool space. Very cool. I Yeah. That was an awesome space. If you want to look for dolphins or watch the birds, there's, mm. yeah. There's, there's lots of birds. Lots I don't understand how all those birds get out, way out in sea <laughs> where they came from, but. Um, they yeah, were there. They were there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, benches. You can walk actually all the way around. At the aft of the ship, so the back of the ship, you could actually walk around there. You're almost not sure if you're supposed to be there, but you were allowed to walk all the way around the back of the ship. There was a lot well. of like chairs. Um, the store. loungers stored there. Yeah, extra loungers and stuff being stored. But it there. is nice. If you want a nice long walk, mm -hmm. that is a nice long walk. As long as you can do the stairs up to deck five. So that's, <laughs> I, you know, I, I probably should have said this earlier and it kind of fits in here. Mm -hmm. So that if you want a nice long walk, that would probably be the better place to walk mm -hmm. because the running track, we didn't mention that up. Yeah. Um, so it's up on the deck. One up from the one pool. One up from the pool. So where the on those hot 12. tubs are. Yeah. There's a running track. It is, I don't want to call it short, like it is a medium sized running mm -hmm. track, but the loungers kind of go right up against it. So if you're trying to run. You're running right past the hot tub. So you're yeah. going to have people in your way. Especially if you try to use it in the middle of the day. I, if you're going to use it, use it early in the morning. I did go out there um, one morning early and there's actually quite a few people using it. Mm -hmm. That's the time of day to be using it. But if you're trying to run there in the middle of the day or the evening or early evening, it's probably going to be a struggle. Be expect that people will be yeah. in your way. <laughs> so I think that would be one of my wishes is when they build these ships. And I mean, it is what it is on, an, on a ship of this age, but that they build them where they don't interrupt people sitting around the pool. Yeah. So. I have a little less conflict there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but back down to the promenade area. So the Royal Promenade. We'll come back inside. Yes. I love I love these areas on Royal Caribbean ships. So the Royal Promenade or the Royal Esplanade, um, those sorts of areas. It's just one. It gives you that kind of shopping center kind of yeah. vibe. The stores, the food, the music. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, a lot to, you know, entertain you inside. This one actually had cabins that looked out over it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so there's 
cabins that overlook the promenade. There's actually kind of a bridge in the middle where they offer, they do parties on there. They'll do dance parties inside in the promenade. So, um, funny. Yeah. It's just a, a fun area to enjoy. And close by the elevators, mm -hmm. they have little cutouts that you can stand and watch from above down onto the promenade. Yeah. From higher decks. Yes. Yeah. So, which is kind of cool. If you don't want to be in the midst of the party, mm -hmm. you can go a few decks up close to the elevators and you can stand and watch from up there. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll point out a couple of our favorite spots on there. Mm -hmm. Then I do have um, kind of a, a wish for this okay. area too. Okay. Um, so Playmakers, kind of like the sports bar there, really cool area. It's right across from the um, Cafe Promenade. Is that what it's called? Yes. <laughs> so many names, I'm trying to remember everything. Um, they had a really neat thing. So first of all, mm -hmm. at the back, um, there's a kind of a, private lounge thing and I don't um it's a room I think if there's a lot of people you can kind of request to use that area okay but one of the coolest things in this area is they had foosball tables they had table shuffleboard mm -hmm. um did they have a pool table I can't remember I don't remember but I feel like there was some retro there was retro video games I feel like it was pac-man or miss pac-man or something like that um so a really neat area mm -hmm. and the like the foosball and the shuffleboard were free to play um I thought that the foosball cost money because it had the little place mm -hmm. to put quarters in. But it was free. It was free. Yeah. yeah. So, so that was fun. Mm -hmm. And then there's tables there and there, you can order drinks and stuff. In and that TVs area. and stuff. Yeah. Really nice area. They had sports playing and yeah, mm -hmm. it was a nice, fun, fun environment. Mm -hmm. And we did play the little shuffleboard, mm -hmm. even though we don't really know how to play. We, we tried. <laughs> Okay. Should we talk about the cafe, cafe promenade across the way? Yeah. So the cafe promenade, um, so on other ships, you might see like Sorrento's and the cafe promenade. This is kind of all incorporated into one. So you'll get the pizza, that sort of thing mm -hmm. in the cafe promenade. Um, but it's really handy there. There's a nice little kind of room in the back that's quiet. Yeah. It's when you walk in, if you go to the left, mm -hmm. there's an extra little section and Halfway through the cruise, people start to find it. But the first half of the cruise, we would be the only one sitting back there. Yeah, even so, though the rest of it was busy. You could so. still hear the music and everything, mm -hmm. but you could sit back there and have your space. So it's yeah. kind of nice if yeah. you peek around the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, nice little area. They had, um, you know, coffee and, and um, teas you could grab there as well conveniently. Mm -hmm. um, you could purchase ice cream or specialty coffees in that area. And, um, yeah, cafe promenade, just snacks. Nice area to stroll, so, listen to music. In the promenade as well, they had a barber. Yes. So, or I don't know if it was officially called a barber, but at least a place you could go get your hair cut, mm -hmm. um, and different stores. Now they did have, let me see if I have the name of it. Um, I don't have the name of the, what the store was called, but the store where you get your logo wear from yes. Royal Caribbean. Yeah. This is where my wish comes in. Okay. It wasn't the best logo wear and like the... Logo wear, clothing kind of stores, souvenirs, other than like jewelry and like fragrances, like it seemed really small on the ship. And that seems to be a common thing. We often feel like they could offer more. Mm -hmm. They could do, be, do more. Well, some ships I've been on, I can go, browse through those stores for like half an hour. This one I was done in like two minutes. <laughs> That's true. You were. <laughs> so, I could have been in there half yeah, an hour, it, but just, you were done in two minutes. Yeah. I just felt like it was, could have been better. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, but, but they did have the Royal Caribbean towels. So I did bring one of those home. And I really like their towels. Mm -hmm. They have really pretty ones. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's all the like, um, you know, fragrance shops and, um, the liquor store, that yes. sort of thing on there yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, do you want to keep going or? Yeah. We should maybe drop down a deck cause I think we go down to deck four. It kind of continues that shopping mm -hmm. feel, but there's a little less of it. Yeah. So down in deck four you're gonna find the um the royal theater at one end mm -hmm. and then you'll also find i believe the schooner bar is down there yeah which is also a nice venue where they hold some of the activities during the day well, well they'll do like trivia and that sort of thing in there it's a very nautical vibe in there they've got a piano mm -hmm. um like typically with like ropes and different things making it kind of a nautical vibe um and they do host stuff in there so that's nice um should we jump? Let's talk about the theater. Okay. So yeah. the theater on this ship is your classic theater. The kind of theater mm -hmm. that, in my opinion, should be on every cruise ship. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It is big. 
we never had to fight for a seat. No, there was a lot of seating in there. Uh, multi, like two, there's upstairs and a downstairs. Um, it's tapered, great views. Very few seats had bad views. You could, I could sit anywhere. Mm -hmm. And a big kind of race stage, traditional stage with the curtain and the whole, mm -hmm. whole thing. Um, really enjoyed that. I, I like that. And yeah. I like that you can go to the show and not feel stressed. Mm -hmm. um, some of the theaters are so undersized for the ship. Yeah. This yeah. is nice. Beautiful. Yeah. And even when we showed up closer to the shows, this might not be on, on every sailing, but there was lots of space available. And our sailing, I think, was pretty much full. So Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was really nice. Yeah. No, for sure. Um, so, yeah. The Royal Theater. Awesome. Uh, let me have a look here. I know a highlight. Okay. You can easily miss it because it's on deck four. So it's out of the way of it. But they have a full Starbucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so if you enjoy your Starbucks, not just serving Starbucks, but actually Starbucks, they mm -hmm. have it. And then if you go... Towards the aft of the ship. Yeah. But if you go behind the bar, mm -hmm. they're seating along the window looking out. And mm -hmm. there's also plugs under all the seats in that area. So if you want to be on your phone or a computer, yeah. it's a great quiet place to sit. Yeah, right behind the Starbucks. And I actually saw quite a few staff members from the ship sitting back there. I think it's the quiet place to go hang out because... Um, People don't see it. You don't see it because you have to walk around the corner. So, But it's really nice place mm -hmm. to sit down. Yeah. Um, one thing um, I wanted to mention as well, and I think we're in this area before okay. we get to the main dining room, is the skating rink or Studio B. That is super cool. Yeah. Like what a cool space. So they have an ice rink. Mm-hmm. And then they have seating all the way around, kind of theater seating. Mm -hmm. Like like you would find in a sports arena. Yeah, yeah. And they hold amazing venues, or mm. activities in there, I should say. Yeah, from, you know, the ice skating, different things like that. There's shows in there. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's just an awesome venue and really cool place. Super cool. Yeah. Really cool place. And even if you don't want to do that stuff, you can go in there and watch mm -hmm. as well. And yeah, I enjoy it. Well, I think area. that's fun. Really fun. But... I think this is kind of the last area we mm -hmm. want to touch on mm -hmm. in this is the dining room, the main dining room. I love their main dining room. This is elegant, mm. classic, beautiful. When I think of a main dining room on a cruise ship, and maybe it's because this was our first cruise, was on the Mariner, but it's pretty much the same on here, is this kind of classic dining room. It's three stories high. It's open in the middle. The massive chandeliers, the tablecloths, everything like that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And everyone is in one main dining room together. Mm -hmm. So even if you're doing uh, where you have different dining times, it's in one place. Even though you might come in on, it, you can opens up on three different decks that mm -hmm. you can get in there. Even if you're coming in on a different deck, you might, it still feels like you're dining in the same room as everyone. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. I yeah. love it. Yeah. And wait, you know what? The one thing we forgot to say, though, hmm. there's also a casino on deck four. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's um, kind of midship in there as well. So um, that is available. Yeah. So, um, I mean, there's there's so many things that we liked. I don't, I don't really have... I know I've kind of mentioned a few of my wishes in there, but I don't really... Other than those, I don't... There's not a lot that stands out for no. my wishes. It's a beautiful ship. Uh, lots to do. Lots to see, and we had a great time on it. Mm -hmm.